Hello there everybody, thanks for joining me once again. I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion. Thank you for supporting my channel and if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notifications button and give me a like if there's something you enjoy about today's uh, video. Okay, today I'm going to do something I haven't done in years. So with different products, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have a 50 centimetre round. I'm going to put white across the top and then I'm going to put blue across the bottom and then I'm going to blow it up. So, and then you'll see the effects we get. Uh, passion base cell white. So the base cell we're going to use today. And I'm going to use blue passion and cerulean. A match made in heaven. Trust me, they're gorgeous together. Uh, and then I'm going to put in the Max White Sparkle into the Blue Passion. Because I do this most times when I do my ocean pours. This is kind of like the deeper ocean. And I always put that Max White Sparkle in because it just gives it a nice little gentle sparkle when it hits the light. It's just gorgeous. And you can obviously use this on its own. You can use it in any of the other colours as well. Uh, and it's probably our number one selling powder. It's beautiful. So if you don't have some, have a think about getting it. Okay, so uh, let's go and experiment and see what we can create today. Alrighty, we're here. Um, I've got my cup set up. I've got my uh, paste set up and I've got my resin poured. So now I'm just going to pour the resin into the cups and then I will add the paste. It's fun playing different ways of doing things as in the uh, different type of wave action. It's been years actually since I've done this so it'll be fun won't it? <laughs> it'll better turn out. Barely remember how I did it. Just a little bit more resin into that one. Okay, now I'm going to use the Passion Base White on this one because I'm going to do half in the white um, and then I'm going to push the blue up over it. Hopefully it's going to work out beautifully. It's quite liquidy this one, so let's make sure I've got enough in there. Okay. The base has always been quite liquidy actually, whereas the top cell's got more oomph to it so just mixing this up give it a good stir make sure it's all mixed up there we go beautiful it's like whipping cream before it's whipped okay so now I'll go Blue Passion Just giving that a good stir as well Then I'm going to add some Max White Sparkle Give it a bit of sparkle I often do this actually with the Blue Passion with my Ocean Pores I think it really uh, adds that bit of special something to it. Because you know me, I like my sparkle. Okay, if we've got enough there, I'm just going to stir it ever so slowly in the beginning to make sure that it uh, mixes in with the resin before I give it a decent stir so that I don't end up with all the little bits flying everywhere and they're breathing it in. Here we go. Beautiful. If you can see that, it is just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, I thought we'd add a bit of cerulean. I can't remember because I said it was years ago. I actually can't remember 
what I added in when I did them back, way back then. I did quite a few, but I can't remember because they all sold. See, everybody loves oceans, don't we? Okay. Beautiful. Okay. In fact, I can't even remember if I used to leave the tape on or not, but I thought I'll put it on and we'll see how we go. Alrighty, so now I'm simply going to pour the white over. See, one thing I didn't do because I was so excited to do this, I'm going to do it quickly now, and that is just balance my board. It's pretty good actually. That's lucky, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to do this with my hands. Just over to the edge there. Pushing it up against the tape so that it rolls over. into it. I think I'm going to just hit the top of that with the low torch to get rid of all the bubbles that have been brought to the surface in the mixing process. Across here, there. I'll leave a little bit in there, I think, just in case I need it. I'm sort of trying to miss the, the little pole here that I've got, which supports the the um, camera. All right, so now I'm just going to mix it with my fingers a bit so that it's, the colours are kind of mixed. Pretty colours, huh? Okay. Let's see how that goes. So we've got our board covered. And, oops. Now I'm going to get, actually no, I'm going to just hit that with a heat gun as well. And I'm going to use my, it's not plugged in is it, my um, heat gun to blow up the waves. Whoops, well, that was clever of me wasn't it? Was the plug that had the lights on. Sorry about that. There you go. Usually like to be organised. Okay. So um I'm actually use this little gadget on here. Let's see how we go. Alright.
Okay, there you have it. It's, uh, you can see having that base cell white underneath, it's really laced up, hasn't it? I've forgotten how beautiful that was. So, um, yeah, we're gonna leave that for a bit and uh, see how it goes. Um, and then I'll take the tape off. Um, yeah, if I take it off now, it might, because it's quite a bit of white, it may pull that a bit too far. So I think I'm gonna leave it and see how we go. I wasn't quite sure here, I just sort of blew it. So it sort of, you know, looks like oceany, but you could come, you could really do any which way. I mean, you could get your, your fingers or spatula and go side to side if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> might even add, you know, even just a little bit more dark across there, because I do love the sparkle. So, just something a little bit different, but for those like myself who love aquas and oceans and things like that, I thought that you might uh, enjoy seeing something like this done. All right then, let's leave it for a bit and then I'll uh, come back. Okay, here we are back again. It's been around 20 minutes. I'm just gonna pull off the tape, pulling it away. Oops, sorry pop this into the bin for it dribbles everywhere and just with my fingers just run around the edge making sure that we've got that bottom half wet with resin and of course my insulin pump alarms decide to go off always happens doesn't it when I'm filming one moment okay sorry about that back everyone um, it's just dripping over the side. I probably could have left it a bit longer, but um, I think it's okay. It doesn't look like it's going to pour out that way. I might just use the heat gun just to push this side off a bit. Just maybe just hit it with a little one. Can't close that, I don't know. Just see. Yep. Okay, a little bit of yeah, that's what I wanted, it's a bit of cell action. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. I don't want to really spoil it. See, the other one came up really well, but this one for some reason didn't, and I don't know why. Anyway, I'll just, uh, just try to think what I can do. Um,
There we are. I'm happy with that. Just didn't want it sort of too heavy with the blue. Good. All right then, well, we'll just leave this to cure now and uh, I'll show you tomorrow with the reveal. Good morning, everyone. Here we are, just checking out our review on our piece we did last night. I love the cell structure. Now this is the base white, using the base white. If you put color over the base white, then you're gonna get this kind of cell structure because that's the way it works. Very, very interesting, isn't it? I'll do another one actually with a top cell white and you can see the difference between the two because a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between the base cell white and the top cell white? Well, the